Hey everyone, so today I'll be showing you guys how to get the perfect twist out every single time. I'm starting off on freshly shampooed and conditioned hair. So this is what my hair looks like without any product in it. Next, I'm following up with a spray bottle of warm water. I have low porosity hair, so my hair loves warm water. So I'm just smoothing the water throughout my hair. Next, I'm following up with a leave-in, and I like to use a method called LCO, liquid cream oil. I know a lot of other people love using the lock method, which is liquid oil cream. You have to try out both methods and see which one your hair likes the best. So I'm just working the leave-in throughout my hair, from roots to ends, and lightly finger detangling as I go. I'm going back in and adding a little bit more to my ends since that is the oldest part of my hair and tends to be the most dry. Taking that section, splitting it into two, and working the product in. So this is what my hair looks like after just applying a leave-in alone. So you can see that my curls are already starting to form. So next I'm following up with a cream and I'm just going to rub that between my hands and apply it all over the section of hair from roots to ends. Splitting that section into two and working it in. So as I'm doing this you can see I'm lightly finger detangling my hair. And I kind of like squeeze the product into my hair, squeezing it into the strands, making sure that they're really opening up and getting all the moisture that they need. So here again, I lightly finger detangle. Next, I'm following up with some shea butter. And I'm just melting that down into my hands and then applying it to my hair. So shea butter is definitely on the heavier side. You don't have to use shea butter. You can use an oil or you can even skip that and use a gel. But I've noticed lately that my hair has been loving shea butter. So I'm just doing the same thing as before. I'm just making sure to really work the product into my hair. Making sure that all my curls are covered in this shea butter. Shea butter leaves my hair very soft. It helps to lock in all the moisture. And on top of all of that, it makes my hair really, really shiny. So here's just a close up of what I do with my fingers. You can see I am raking my fingers through and making sure that my hair is nicely detangled so that way I don't even have to bother with a comb. So the final step is to go ahead and do two strand twist or braid out, whatever you want to do. So I'm just doing two strand twist and I am just slowing it down so you guys can see how I twist my hair. I get a lot of questions about how I do it. I smooth the hair between my fingers and begin twisting. So now taking a clean towel, I'm just going to remove some of that excess product that's on my hair. So that way my hair can dry a lot faster and not have any white residue. So this is what my twists look like after they've been completed. They're soft and shiny and very moisturized. I'm not sure how many twists I did in total, but if I had to guess, I want to say about 15 to 20 twists. So the next morning, I'm ready to remove my twists, adding an oil mix to my fingers to help me smooth and take down my twists. Starting with the back, I try my best to be very gentle and not to cause too much frizz. And one by one, I take them down, separate, and fluff. Depending on the size of the twist, I separate about two to three times before moving on to the next one. So 
So just take your time while doing this so that way you don't end up with too much frizz. If you have finer hair, then you can definitely separate a lot more so that way you get a lot more volume, but my hair is fairly full so I don't need to do too much. So once all your twists are out, your hair should look something like this. Who knows, it may look even better. So this is what my twist look looks like after it's been separated and fluffed. Lots of shine, lots of volume, and it's super soft and it lasts about four days. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, make sure you are so you don't miss out on my next video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.